I'm Amy Wolf with your ViewCast for the week of September 15th. Well, the political conventions are over, we have our official candidates, and for this political junkie and millions of others out there, campaign fever is on. John McCain doesn't always tell us what we hope to hear. Beautiful words cannot make our lives better, but a man who has always put his country and her people before self, before politics, can. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no ordinary time. This is no ordinary election. And this may be our last chance to reclaim the America we love. Vanderbilt Distinguished Professor of Political Science John Gere joined us at the ViewCast studio to give his take on the race, including some of the campaign ads. Well, I think they're interesting. I mean, I think the one that says, you know, are you ready to lead and using the celebrities, et cetera, certainly got a lot of media attention, and that's been a plus. Um, and it's suggested that maybe Obama doesn't have that much substance. The problem with the strategy, as I see it, is that if, in fact, Obama can answer the question, is he ready to lead affirmatively, then McCain's in real trouble because the whole premise of his campaign collapses. And we actually have an example of that in American history in 1980 where Jimmy Carter kept saying that Ronald Reagan wasn't ready to lead, he wasn't ready to be president. And the course of the campaign demonstrated that in fact Ronald Reagan was ready to lead and was ready to be president. The American public understood that. And what was a very close election up to the very last week suddenly shifted to a dramatic blowout by Reagan because people became comfortable. So it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a risk for McCain to, to make these kinds of uh, claims, but he really doesn't have much other choice. He's got to thread the needle. You can read some recent op-eds Gear and other Vanderbilt professors have written about the election on vanderbilt.edu slash news. We're also always adding content to our election 2008 page, which you can find by clicking on vanderbilt.edu slash news. Are you sick of the 90 plus degree days yet? I bet your skin is. Researchers at the Vanderbilt Medical Center are developing a high tech new handheld gadget that will scan a patient's skin to help spot skin cancer cells. You would tell you exactly what you have without taking it off the person. So it would, if you knew it was benign, you wouldn't necessarily have to take it off. Um, if you knew it was malignant, you'd know uh, about how far around you had to go. So, so it only takes 10 seconds to do the whole measurement. Vandy researchers say the laser light bounces off cells in the skin, producing a specific fingerprint that will show different types of cancer cells. You never know what kind of stars are bopping around Nashville, and we have a music celeb of our own right here on campus. No, it's not Kenny Chesney. It's the equally cool guy playing the steel drums behind Kenny. That's adjunct instructor of music, Matt Britton. Britton can be heard playing steel drums and percussion all over Chesney's Just Who I Am CD. Britton is also the director of the Vanderbilt Steel Drum Program. Sing the words in your head. When they, when they play the piece and do it right and know they did it right, it's almost like they just sacked the quarterback for the opposing team or just scored a touchdown because they're all high-fiving each other and, and, and congratulating each other. And There's a real excitement when they do it right. too can be as cool as Matt. To find out how to be a part of the steel drum band, log on to vanderbilt.edu slash Blair. You can also watch Vandy students and a group of Commodore football players show their talents on the steel drums on youtube.com slash Vanderbilt. 
I'm sure Kenny Chesney would agree, that performance deserves four Commodores. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.